Hi, back from footballboats.co.uk and today I'm unboxing the Tipu Legacy Artificial Ground Electro Flare Edition by Nike Football. Let's get the boots out of the box and the box out of the way. So here they are. The Tempo range is Nike's heritage solo and it's designed to enhance both comfort and touch, boasting leather materials. The headline professionals for the range are Sergio Ramos, Chris Smalling and Jerome Boateng. However, don't expect the Legacy range to be headlined by any professionals as it is essentially a mid-tier range designed for players that want a high quality boot at an affordable price. So the brand new colorway features the same template design as the recent Intense Heat and Women's World Cup editions. The dark anthracite color colors the entire upper with touches of vault yellow coloring the graphic splash print on the heel and border of the Swish logos for a modern touch. So just bring it closer so we have a closer look at the colorway. So there's a really dark anthracite gray color sort of colors the entire upper of the boot including the heel design. This vault yellow splash graphic print is obviously the main design feature. It's just covered on the heel portion of the Tempo Legacy. Vault yellow also colors the border of the Nike Swish logo, which is black. Laces are black as well on the lateral side of the boot and another black Swish logo with vault yellow border. The Tempo logo on the heel is also vault yellow. Flip it over to the sole. Anthracite colors the entire sole with a vault yellow Swish logo there and artificial grass symbol on the midfoot of the sole on there and overall it's a really unique design all in all i definitely think that this is one of the most like different unique designs that you've seen for the tempo legend or the tempo legacy in this case and personally i'm not really a great fan of the colorway it's darker in the shirt and yellow i feel like it would have been really good with just black instead of dark anthracite but that's just my opinion Leave your thoughts in the comments below if you love or hate this colorway. So the Tempo Legacy is crafted from a supremely soft calf leather upper, which creates a more natural feel when you're in contact with the ball. It's not as soft as the K leather used on the Pro Level Legend 5. Four foot stitching creates a textured surface for enhanced ball control and a very natural first touch. It's the same stitching pattern used on the Legend 5, so I'll just bring the Legend 5 back again. You can see that the same stitching pattern is used on the four foot. So in addition, Nike's Hypershield technology helps block out moisture, which in turn results in reduced weight and greater overall comfort. This is one of the most advantageous features to the Tempo Legacy over other leather football boots on the market. As featured in all top-end Nike boots, the all conditions control technology is absent on this model. Again, this is a mid-tier boot, so it does not feature the ACC seen on the standard Tempo Legend 5. So it's not all about outside the boot, it's inside the Tempo, a molded shoe insert along with a sculptured heel cup help increase support and enhance the overall fit. Even small differences can play a positive role such as the inclusion of a padded panel running down the tongue to provide vital added protection and comfort on a vulnerable area of your foot on the tongue here. So the inside lining uses a sweat wicking fabric to keep the feet dry and comfortable during play, it's the same sort of sweat wicking fabric on the Legend 5. So the AG version uses an abrasion panel along the front edge of the upper to help reduce the chance of sole separation. It's going to work especially well on AG surfaces, artificial grounds, 3G pitches, it's going to be really good. So a lightweight TPU chassis is used which enhances movement and comprises of a configuration of molded conical studs for excellent traction on artificial ground surfaces. So the plate uses secondary studs for enhanced perimeter traction as well as four foot pressure and heel plant dispersion pads for even slow pressure as you play. The studs are made hollow, as you can see, for increased support and heel cushioning while an extra flex groove in the forefoot is used to help with quick transitions during games. If you wanted my personal opinion on the Tempo Legacy, I feel that it's one of the best value for money ranges on the market. The boot is very similar to that of the Pro Legend 5 and only lacks the Kaylee the upper and the ACC technologies, so it's very similar to the Legend 5. So we'll be definitely reviewing this AG Tempo Legacy in the coming weeks. For more unboxings like this, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and as always, we'll see you next time.